preparing the bottom butter so let's get into the journey i started by peeling my yam i'm so sorry i couldn't video the side that i was feeling because i was uh, cooking and videoing at the same time i was doing everything on my own so it wasn't easy so you peel your yam after that you cut it or you chop it into smaller pieces as you can see i've done over here then you wash it put your saucepan on fire pour some water into it then you wash every uh, you wash all the yam into the water so as you can see i'm washing my Yes. so after i left it on the fire for some time to go then later yes yeah, so here i came to open it to see if it was boiling so that i could add my vegetables but funny enough i opened it and it wasn't boiling i didn't really understand not knowing my gas was finished so i had to <laughs> put everything down then go fill my cylinder and come back so before but don't forget before i went to fill the cylinder i added my tomatoes my pepper my onion to the fire before i went to actually i didn't even know the gas was finished then so it was after i was done before i realized ah, the thing is not boiling i didn't understand and i checked and i got to know my gas was finished i went to fill it when i came back i allowed it to boil about 15 minutes then i brought out my tomatoes my pepper to grind then i added my fish yes my fish then i was grind i started grinding my tomatoes pepper and onion as you can see over here in my traditional blender the, the wooden thing i'm holding is called tapuli in our dialect then the 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 clay thing is, is up uh, the pot is pussy yes so this is how i grinded it to look like after everything that i had to grind it i did my best to grind for it to look that way then i added it to the yam and water on fire and allowed it to boil for about 10 minutes then i i fixed some from it because i had to separate some of the soup yes so this is the soup after i had fixed some from it is the soup then it became this way i had to mash it unfortunately i couldn't video that part but this after i had mashed it this is how it will look after i've mashed it yes so after mashing i allowed it to boil for some time then i added my palm oil so this is my palm oil so it's a palm oil that i've added that's why it's, that's what is making it to look this way but it wasn't as thick as i wanted so i allowed it to boil for another five minutes and then I, it was okay and then i offered it so this is how it looked guys this is how it looked after everything saved in my bowl ready to chop 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 <laughs> yes so this is the soup as well this is how the soup will also look so some of my as was well, what's the essence of the soup you just you can just pour some of the soup on the food then you eat it then you eat. it's delicious then you can also decide to eat the food separately then you drink the soup yes and it's so delicious this food is called in pot on potter and it's so easy to make guys it's so so easy to make thank you so much for watching bye hey guys wait 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 before you go <laughs> this wasn't actually part of the original video but this is a video i took some time ago trying to prepare kinky so this is how kinke is prepared in ghana and trust me it's, 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 it's stressful as you can see so we are preparing this kinke for about 120 people and it was actually my first time so unfortunately i couldn't get a full video of how the kinke was prepared this is the only part that i got so i'd like you to take a look at it that's why i've added it to this video Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Kindly like, subscribe, and leave your comments at the comment section. Thank you.